finally got a new trailer. We got a release date. New Mutants is hitting theaters in April of 2020. But we're here to talk about some bad issues you might want to be on the lookout for. And it starts right now. What's going on guys? It is Brian and Jack with Simple Man's Comics where we're helping to amplify our combo collection through integrity and community. We're doing a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. New trailer just hit. Everyone's going bonkers over it. We finally got a release date of April 3rd for that new Mutants movie. But Jack has a list. We got five issues that you might find in those back issue bins. And we're going to talk about those right now. Starting with... Marvel graphic novel number four, right, Jack? Right. Now, you're not finding this in any bin. This is the first appearance of the New Mutants. Uh, this has been a key issue for, I mean, years and years and years at this point. But it's seen its ebbs and flows as far as secondary market pricing. Now, all of these New Mutant books are rising and rising fast. Um, we're on the secondary market right now due to this trailer dropping and being pretty well received as a kind of Marvel cinematic horror movie, albeit done by Fox. Um, but at the same point, this is a book that could be priced like any of these books undervalued at LCSs, um, at your local flea market, at your uh, local comic conventions, because it's a book that had been selling for much less and with much less demand than it's selling for right now. Another thing to be on the lookout for with this book is later printings. They all kind of look the same. Check that inside cover. Uh, make sure you're asking your your you know your comic dealer. Um, but check for that because they, there's several later printings. And another thing to look for is the trade paperback version that features the Adam Hughes cover, that book is going for over $100. So make sure you're checking those trade sections too for those out of print trades. Right, yeah, this is one book that you saw kind of take off right when they first announced they were making that New Mutants movie. Kind of fizzled out a little bit. I won't say in value, but as far as attention span. But now we got the trailer coming back out. People are well aware of it again. But like he said, not, not find it in bins, but you might find someone slipping, not paying attention. You might be able to get one yeah. for a decent buck. But either way, it's one book. If you're a New Mutants fan, to add to your collection for sure. And at number four we're going to talk about this week is that Amazing Heroes number 16. Right, so now this is a book uh, that kind of was popular, similar to like Marvel Age, like a book that, you know, used to be a trade publication for the comic book industry, discussed upcoming storylines, characters, um, kind of a comic shop news type thing. And it featured the New Mutants and predates Marvel graphic novel number four. Um, it is a tough to find book. I have found a few in the wild and sold them all. But I will also say every book that I've ever found has been in terrible condition. I'm talking VG kind of condition. This is not, it's a white book, not an easy book to find in good shape. Not a book people ever collected for value when it originally came out. Um, it was, like I said, a magazine. It was really a trade publication. Uh, so this is one to be on the lookout for. But prices have started to creep to like the $200 plus asking price. For this book right now um as it's a real tough one and i just think like all those spawn books that got popular rust and uh, malibu sun have kind of popularized this type of book yeah this is one of those books that for me personally i was like oh, i'm gonna pass on i understand why it garners the price and the demand that it wants but just me as the collector it was one that i was like didn't have to have in my collection but if you want it and it's out there Finding one in high grade, like Jack said, can be kind of hard to find. But either way, you can find – I found some of these in not dollar bins, but if you go to conventions, I've seen some every now and then stacked in there where I was surprised to actually see it. But I passed hey. over it because it wasn't on a book that I wanted in my collection at the time. Every once in a while, you'll see an older dealer with a short box full of Amazing Heroes books. And every time, you're flipping through just like, oh, please have 16. So there's a few others actually in that series. We could probably do a whole video on Amazing Heroes back issues. Maybe we will one day. Then at number three, we got New Mutants number one. Now, speaking of those back issue bins, Baltimore a couple years ago, there was a dollar bin box. I was telling Jack right before we started filming this that I grabbed like four or five of those for a dollar. Good condition too. I'm surprised. These are actually good. They're still available out there to find, but people are becoming aware of these and there are starting to rise in price, especially when back in the time you're going, 
like we said, Jack, man, this book won't ever be worth more than a couple bucks or so. Right, right. This book, it reminds me of books from that time, whether it's Moon Knight number one, um, which is another book that's like rising like that, where, you know, it's not first appearance. Um, so the thought process was, well, why is this number one, this X factor number one? Why are these books going to become valuable? But, um, you know, it's the first named New Mutants book. Uh, it, it definitely is an iconic imagery from Bob McCloud. Um, and this book is seeing its heyday right now. It's hitting, you know, between 20 and $30, depending on condition. Um, sometimes even more, uh, graded copies are doing extremely well. It's a regular book you can find. You mentioned dollar bins. Now I found them in dollar bins for sure, but it's a book you find in $5 bins easily. If you're willing to pay five dollars for it, I mean, you'll find it at any convention um, in the country somewhere for five bucks. And it, I think at this point, you know, I would grab them when they were a dollar. When I would see them for five, I would kind of be on the fence and have to be a real mentor newsstand. Um, now at this point, I'd say grab them all, grab all the mid grade, you know, grab them for five bucks because this is a solid $20 book at this point. And I don't think it's going anywhere. And uh, it'll be, I'm real interested to see what this New Mutants movie is going to do for these books long term, because um, I'm cautiously optimistic. Right, yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if the studio, I won't say studio trouble, but with the Disney-Fox merger and everything going on, where this movie was supposed to come out, you saw a trailer a while back, and then they're talking about reshoots, and then they're saying now that they're going to, uh, distribute it without the reshoots so they're going with the original format We've got the new trailer either way i'm hoping for a good marvel horror movie to come out of this but we'll yeah. see right yeah it doesn't have to be a, a 800 million dollar movie i'm i'm more than happy to just see a horror movie that's a good horror movie which those tend to only do uh much smaller numbers and and have it be within the marvel universe i think it's got a lot of potential then at number two this week, we have New Mutants number 18. Tell us about this one, Jack. Well, you know, every horror movie needs its, uh, you know, big scary villain. In this case, it seems that Demon Bear is that character. Uh, Demon Bear first appears right here in New Mutants number 18. Now, there's some other issues of note. For instance, issue number three from the New Mutants run features a shadowed demon bear and that book is like you mentioned bins that book is regularly in dollar bins um it's in every back issue new mutants bin uh you know box you'll find for three dollars you'll pay three dollars you can get stacks and stacks of them um and it's one that could see heat 18 is starting to rise it's starting to get to that 20 to 30 dollar level but it's still easily found in those five dollar boxes and those three dollar boxes and even in some dollar boxes um but it this is iconic um, Bill Sienkiewicz imagery. Um, so this book has, it's had ebbs and flows. It's been popular before, especially when this series um, first started to get a lot of attention and then when, you know, the movie got announced. But some other issues to keep an eye out for, be on the lookout for, would be the next two issues, issue 19 and 20, which are part of the Demon Bear uh, storyline. Uh, those are dollar bin books, and I've noticed that if you can lot up 18, uh, 19, and 20, that you're going to get a premium, and they're going to go faster than it just trying to sell 18 in and of itself. So that's something, uh, a little process talk to something to be on the lookout for. Then our number one back issue New Mutant book to be on the lookout for is New Mutants number 14. Right, and I think that this is a book with unlimited potential, Brian. Um, this is a book that... Um, from, I'm going to call it the first appearance of Magic, um, who, of course, is Ilya Rasputin. Um, this is a heavily debated topic. And I would say all of the books that catch debate have value. Ilya Rasputin first appears in Giant Size X-Men number one. Um, obviously, we know what that book is. Uh, there are some wikis out there that will point to Magic number one from the mini four-issue miniseries as the first appearance of Magic. Um the market has really chosen this New Mutants number 14. Um, I remember years and years ago when this the news broke of this book, when you and I were uh, members of CBSI and back in the message board days on Google+, and this was a popular book to talk about that wasn't getting attention at the time, and now has the firm attention of the market. If you saw the trailer, they hinted at, you know, Magic looks like she's going to suit up, and the sword, and... 
Um, the character seemed cool and had sass to her. Um, I think coming out of this movie long term, Magic could be the character uh, who hits with the the secondary market, who maybe hits with a female audience or um, you know is popular, uh, who has some funny lines, who kicks some ass. Uh, so I, I think that the potential for success with this book, because it, this has been deemed by the market as the first appearance, really uh, it, it is unlimited. Uh, the book is similar to like Demon Bear, maybe a little stronger. It's selling for that 20 to $30 range. Um, I would be willing to pay more for this book. I would pay $10 for this book. I would pay $15 in um, higher grade or newsstand um, because I just think that the ceiling for this book is a lot higher. Um, but and I think we saw that right off the bat with the trailer. So this is one to keep an eye out for. Um, if if you're ever at a convention, you see that new mutants box. Thumb through those issues. There are a lot of first appearances. There's other ones we didn't talk about um, throughout this series. Uh, you know, those later issues get a lot of attention with uh, with Deadpool and Cable, um, as well as the first appearance of the X Force. But the beginning series of the series with, uh, you know, Warpath and, um, Demon Bear and, uh, you know, the, uh, New Mutant version of Warlock and, uh, uh, you know, the team as a whole, there's a lot of value in the beginning of that series. Right. So like I said, this is, won't be the only video for our New Mutants back issue series, but let us know how many of these books do you have are there other new mutants book that you like that aren't in this video? Cause we will have other ones and I'm sure we'll probably get to those at some point, but either way, this has been five new mutants back issues to be on the lookout for, especially with that movie on the rise. And if you're watching this after that movie's come out, cause this video is on the channel at all times for anyone to view, let us know again, what was your favorite books? Do you have these? What's your favorite new mutant storyline all together? And do you think it'll be in the movie or were you mad that certain storylines weren't covered in the movie? But Jack, anything else? No, no. I, you know what? I'm just excited that we're getting this movie in general. There was a time where we thought we weren't going to get it. So, uh, you know, I'm hopeful. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll be talking about this movie more uh, as it approaches. And then once we get a chance to watch it and uh, maybe even review it. Yeah, like you, I'm excited that we're getting it. Not only that, but we're getting it as a theatrical release. There was yes. talk about Hulu, there was talk about direct-to-video, there was talk about all types of things, but we're getting that theatrical release. And with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video.